Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this session, we will discuss exam exercise of chapter 7. And uh, here in this uh, session, we will discuss question number uh, 9 that appears in IGCSE exam uh, in 2015. So, this uh, question, uh, the solution to this uh, equation, this question, the accurate drawing will not be accepted. Uh, the point A and B have coordinates 2 comma minus 1 and 6 comma 5 respectively. <coughs> Find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AB giving your answer in the form of AX plus BY is equal to C where A, B and C are integers. The point C has coordinates 10 comma minus 2. <coughs> Find the, e find the equation of the line through C which is parallel to AB. Calculate the length of BC and uh, show that the triangle ABC is isosceles. So let's solve this question number 9. So here we have this given information. We have given this AB and uh, we have to find uh, C. So, so let's see this gradient AB can be obtained as 5 minus minus 1. This is minus 1. So 5 minus minus 1 and 6 minus 2. So this is gradient is 3 upon 2. The gradient of uh, line perpendicular to this AB is uh, minus 2 upon 3. So this line should be minus 2 upon 3. So so the midpoint of AB is uh, this point is by taking 6 plus 2 divided by 2 and 5 minus 4 divided by 2 that is 4 comma 2. So this is the midpoint and from this midpoint uh, the, uh, the perpendicular line passing through this uh, this midpoint so this y minus 2 is equal to minus 2 upon 3. So this is here and this 4 is here. And this is uh, the perpendicular uh, gradient is minus 2 upon 3. So the equation of uh, this line, this line is given here. And on simplification we can obtain this as 2x plus 3y is equal to 40. So this is the equation. So we have obtained in the second part the line passing through this 10 c uh, 10 comma minus 2 parallel to ab so we have this given point 10 comma um, minus 2 10 comma minus 2 this point is 10 comma two, that this line is parallel to this ab this ab this line is parallel to this line so the gradient of this line would be same to the gradient of this ab and this equation can easily be obtained. So this uh, point is passing through this 2 and 10 and the gradient is same as the uh, A and B. So that is 3 upon 2. So we have 3 upon 2 and we can write it. And for simplification we have obtained 3x minus 2y is equal to 34. This is part uh, 2. And in uh, BC uh, now we have to prove that this BC length and AB, AC length are equal. If these are two equals, then this becomes an isosceles triangle. So this uh, BC is uh, 10 minus 6 and this uh, by the distance formula we have obtained this uh, 65 and from AC we have obtained 65. So AC and BC are equal. So the AB <coughs> is, it, is an isosceles iso triangle. So this are from question number nine. Let's solve question number ten. Or let's solve the question number ten. So. And uh, the 
other one is a question number this is uh, 11 so let's solve question number 10 first uh, we have this x is equal to x y plus x square minus 4 and this line intersect this curve intersect with the line by is equal to 3 x minus 1 at point a and b find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line a b <coughs> so curve intersect the line this and at point a and b and find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line a b so So this is a curve and this is line and we solve this together so x y x y y x uh, y minus x y is equal to x square minus 4 and uh, this is y 1 minus x x uh, square minus 4 in place of this y we will play this uh, 3x minus 1 here so by solving together we have obtained x is equal to 3 upon 2 and x is equal to minus 1 upon 2 so x is equal to 1, 3 upon 2 so y is 7 upon 2 and when x is equal to minus 1 upon 2 the y is minus 5 upon 2 so the a point and b points are obtained by solving these two equations together simultaneously we can obtain these two points a and b the gradient of a b is obtained as 5 minus 5 upon 2 minus 7 upon 2 and minus 1 upon 2 minus uh, 3 upon 2 so the gradient is obtained as 3 so the midpoint of a b is m so the, the midpoint of a and b is this a and b is obtained as this so the midpoint is half and half the equation of line perpendicular to a b is uh, y minus 1 upon 2 and this gradient was 3 so the gradient of the perpendicular line would be minus 1 upon 3 so this is minus 1 upon 3 and this is passing through 1 and half so the equation is on simplification we have obtained as 3 plus x plus 3 y is equal to 2 so this is the answer this is part D uh, in question number 11. Uh, let's go back to this question number 11. This is uh, question number 11. The two points A and B have coordinates uh, minus 3, 2, and 9, 8, respectively. Find the coordinates of C, the point where the line AB cuts the y axis. The points where the line AB cuts the y axis, find the coordinates of D, the midpoint of AB, find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AB, perpendicular bisector of AB, the perpendicular bisector of AB cuts the y axis at point E, find the coordinates of E, show that the area of triangle ABE is 4 times the area of triangle ECD. So this is very very uh, difficult question and let's start this uh, question element. <clears throat> uh, this is information is given A and B. So this is minus 3, 2 and B is 9, 8. So the gradient of this AB, A to B is half and the equation is y minus y1 equal to mab this is gradient of this mab x minus x1 and this x1 is passing through this 3 so and 2 2 is there and minus 3 is here so the equation is obtained as y minus 2 half x plus 3 and at uh, y intercept x is equal to 0 so the value is y is 7 upon 2 so the coordinates of c the coordinates of c is obtained as uh, 0 3.5 this point is 
0 comma 3.5 this is required and in the the midpoint of AB is D that is uh, 3 plus minus 3 plus 9 divided by 2 2 plus 8 divided by 2 so the midpoint is 3 comma 5 so this is the midpoint this midpoint is 3 comma 5 the perpendicular bisector of AB the gradient of the perpendicular line to the AB is minus 2 since uh, the gradient of AB is uh, half this gradient of this is half so the gradient of the line that is perpendicularly bisecting this line is uh, minus 2 and is passing through this point B so we use this point D and their perpendicular gradient and uh, so this is minus 2 and the uh, passing through the D point and D point is 3 comma 5 so D 3 comma 5 is really used 3 and 5 so from this we have this equation 2x plus y yeah. so by substituting and the simplification we have obtained this the perpendicular line to AB cuts at point E the perpendicular line this perpendicular line this perpendicular line cuts at point E this, e, this point is E <coughs> so the point E is E comma zero. So cutting at the y y axis. So this where the x value is zero, so n is zero. So from this equation, if y is zero, the y is obtained as eleven. So the E point is zero and eleven. So we have to find the area of A B E. So A B E. A B and E. So this is A, B and E. The area of A and A, B and E is obtained as this. The A, B and E. Simply A. And from this we have obtained the area as 45 unit and from E, C, D. This E, C and E. This triangle it's very really much less so we take the area of ECD by putting the vertices of ACD E C and D and then E again and from this we have this area is 11.25 and that is uh, four times less than the area of this ABE so this is proof. so that's all from this exercise uh, our exam exercise and this is very very